I just have to say that this is one of several difficult bills that I've worked with in my time with the legislature. Obviously, this is the, the stories on this bill aren't ones that I can share with my children at this point. Uh, it's depraved, sordid, stomach-churning behavior. It's an uncomfortable topic when I'm talking with other legislators. I haven't run into any opposition in talking with other legislators about this, but of course we're, we're sent here not only to deal with easy legislation, this is something that we need to be talking about. This is something that we need to fix. There are past studies that have shown the direct connection between prior sexual abuse of animals and sexual abuse of children. An individual named Sterling Rockwell has put a notorious face to this issue for more than three decades. He's a recidivist in every sense of the word. It's because of his repeated crimes that members of the Wisconsin public and our state law enforcement have become keenly aware of animal sexual abuse and the inability of our current law to adequately respond. But what I really want you to hear today is that this bill is not about one individual. What we know is that thousands of people nationwide, including right here in Wisconsin, solicit or offer animals for sex every year. My personal experience over the many years is best captured by a weeping family with a four-year-old in, in my exam room, pardon me, this is years ago and it still affects me, begging her mother not to give her kitten away. The mother knew that the kitten would be left with me for humane euthanasia because it had been repeatedly tossed against the wall in a Waukesha County apartment uh, by the father to show his children what a powerful person he was. As horse and animals owners, we love and want to see them protected. We expend a lot of time and money and effort on making sure that their care is, is good. They're our beloved animals. Please pass the legislation to put the tools in place to get these offenders off the streets. I have lived this nightmare for 30 years, and I shouldn't have to, and neither should my neighbors.